Hey, Gemini, welcome to your forecast. I don't know why I was suddenly uber tired. Just, I was fine and I got up and I put the camera up. And as soon as I put the camera up, like this wave of fatigue just washed over me. So if you resonate with that energy, get some dang rest, please, okay? For those of you that are new, welcome. I'm an intuitive. Uh, I am channeling the cards, right? Channeling your energy, talking to your spirit guides. Uh, for those of you returning, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, something's hiding in there. There we go. Okay. Just take what resonates for you. Leave the rest behind. Um, for... Those of you that are returning, I appreciate you so much. I appreciate everything you do for the channel. Every time you like, it's helping others to find the messages and it's aligning me to the frequencies that are out there. Um, if you would like a personal reading, that link is down below, as well as if you want to find out about the books that I've written, um, which I was writing books before the YouTube channels. Those are more, i uh, got a really great one if you are into aromatherapy. Um, if you are into nutrition, I've got a few of those. I am a holistic practitioner as well as a shamanic worker, light worker, Reiki master. You can find all of that information at mindsetunicorn.me or you can find me at Instagram, TikTok, Facebook at Mindset Unicorn. Okay. So for the collective here, all right, listen to your gut. You may not think, Gemini, that this wish that you've made is coming, but it is, right? But your gut is going to kind of act as your guide as you go through this. You have a desire, especially with the retrograde, I feel like, to return to a past energy, but you are fighting it, okay? No, I'm armored up. That's all I'm going to do. I'm putting on my armor, right? So we will see if that comes out in the reading. Today we're going to look at Divine Feminine's energy and Divine Masculine's energy. For some of you, this will be one side of your feminine and one side of your masculine, right? For others of you, this is someone that you're dealing with, have dealt with, or that is coming forward to you. It's whatever you feel like is on your mind that resonates. And the sides could be reversed okay so let's pull out some energies here gemini thank you thank you all right i'm gonna pull some energy that's between the two of these a connection point before we get started, Whew, that's too many spirit, but we do have, okay, spirit wants them. Death <laughs> at the very bottom. Spirit's like, there's an ending, okay? So just in case you were wondering, yes, there is an ending here. All right. For some of you, you could be dealing with Scorpio, but... I just see that as an ending. I don't really put too much impact into the signs unless they keep repeating, repeating, repeating. Okay. So Divine Feminine here. Okay. Knight of Wands. All right. Um, I do feel like there's a connection here that there is a lot of shared passion, but really lacking in the emotional connection. Okay, and so uh, crossing energy of nine of swords where you don't really know what to think. Um, you're really going through this thought process of, right, is it because there's a second party here, right? Because she's kind of tossing these two of pentacles up. We'll see what the crossing energy is in a minute here. And queen of swords. Okay, so it's almost like you're like, no, no passion. If you give no emotions, you get no passions, right? Because right here's the passion. Um, 
I almost feel like Divine Feminine is like, I can take care of myself, all right? Divine Masculine here, Page of Swords, okay? Again, you're like, <laughs> it's really funny. Like, you're like fighting against this thought of that emotion needs to be engaged here. But we've got this crossing energy of Two of Cups. Okay, there's something here that you are definitely soul bonded to here that you are very emotional about here. Crossing energy as well of Queen of Cups. Okay, so let's get a little bit of energy between the two here. Okay, Ten of Cups or the Two of or the Nine of Cups of the Two of Cups. It did feel like. There was like a choice between twin, Ten of Cups and Two of Cups. Um, but it could be that you're just right happy here about this Two of Cups energy. But Eight of Pentacles here with the Five of Pentacles. There's nothing you can do about it because you're so dang busy working, right? But... Um, It's very interesting here. I feel like spirit is softly whispering to you, right? Two of cups. Okay. So divine feminine here, right? Knight of wands. Let's clarify here. Knight of wands. Okay. Ace of swords. Yeah. Somebody wants some truth here, okay? Uh, I want to cut through that air, which is why there's so much air blowing back at the masculine energy, right? Okay, three of cups. Again, a masculine and two feminines could be third-party energy here that is um, in some ways being celebrated, right? That this is how it's meant to be. What is crossing that nine of swords? <laughs> the emperor. Okay. The six of wands and the queen of cups. Right? It's very interesting. Like I get the energy here. Okay, again, that we've got a divine partnership here with the six of wands, horse and rider. Okay. And um, very much feels like it's a new beginning that could be very abundant. But with the Queen of Cups here, it's like someone is still trying to emotionally hang on to the Emperor. Yeah, again, Nine of Swords, right? Almost as if there's an energy of disbelief, right? Waking up in the middle of the night, disbelief that this is what it is. Yeah, because there's the King of Swords and the Four of Cups. Okay. Divine Feminine here. The Divine Masculine energy here knows what it wants but it's refusing all offers right now, okay? And it feels like worrying about it doesn't help any, okay? Queen of Swords, yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse, okay, by the Magician. Um, you're trying very hard to manifest this, but you cannot manifest someone else's um, actions, okay? Six of Cups, everything is fine. I do feel like um, Spirit is asking you if this is what you really want, just be kind. Just give, give willingly of your cup, right? And work on yourself. Because right now you're not really working on yourself. You're just like, yeah, everything's fine. Everything's good, right? It's almost like you're waiting for this person to come in and give you that strength. 
Okay, Divine Masculine, Page of Swords. Okay, Five of Wands. I'm done with my lessons. I don't feel that I need any emotions. Um, I've had enough, okay? <laughs> Crossed by the Empress, okay? And the Ace of Wands. I do feel that um, with the Page of Swords and the Ace of Wands, despite best efforts, something's making you happy here, masculine. Okay, Nine of Wands, and as it does, you're holding that one wand, really thinking about, right, the other eight really thinking about taking down this wall of communication. Okay, what is crossing the two of cups here? <laughs> it's the eight of wands. But you're refusing to communicate emotions. Okay. Yeah, high priestess in reverse. It's almost as if you feel that it should already be known. Okay, I don't have to say anything the way I feel should already be known. Okay, from my actions, page of wands. Okay, again, that ace of wands is very, very important here. Okay, crossing this queen of cups, seven of cups. Okay, again, I feel like you could have been dealing with someone, they're regretful, they might have been looking around, looking at other things, they have a lot of regrets about that, they're trying to win this energy back, right? Four of Wands in reverse, okay, and you could be saying, no, right, I'm not taking you back this time, I'm not going to do it. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. You're slowly transitioning. New beginning. New love. Again, it could be that energy of the horse and rider. Okay. That you feel very connected to. Um, but you're, again, not until... You go through this ending again, right? Eight of Swords and Death. Okay. And some of you really don't know which way to go, Spirit is saying. Okay. So let's clarify here. Okay. The truth here for the feminine is just the truth. Okay. There's a feminine here that says, I need an emotional truth. That's all I need. I don't need any actions. I just need an emotional truth. Okay. Like I've been, <laughs> you could be dealing with, I did a sign earlier uh, this week that they were like, I am parched. Right. You could be dealing with that, somebody with that in their charts. Um, but they're like, I'm parched. I just need that little bit of emotion, okay, out of this. Three of cups crossed by the hanged one, right? Like, um, they're hanging on by a thread to this. But again, it's like, I need some sort of emotion. Okay, tell me about the six of wands. Okay, queen of roses, very stable individual okay makes you feel like home okay queen of cups okay six of feathers there's a transition here going on that they're not very happy about king of swords okay the star in reverse Right, again, King of Swords is not entertaining any options right now. Again, whoever is parched here 
is coming through is the Queen of Swords, okay? Knight of Cups. Um, it's almost like they, right, they're seeking, again, I'm seeking emotional validation that there's actually something here, right? And there's a lot of mirroring going on. But it's, again, under the moon, right? The emotions are not being shown. Six of cups here. Okay. Queen of cups, two of swords in reverse. Um, again, I feel like for some of you, if the masculine is the Gemini here, um, well, regardless, it could be that you are leaving and you haven't, you know, but it feels almost like sometimes the masculine is in and sometimes the masculine is out. And so you don't know if you're coming or going, you don't know if they love you or don't love you. And whatever's happened, again, there's this regret, right, for the past for things that have happened and you just want to give them love, okay? Everything is fine, Knight of Roses. Um, this person has been wounded to the point of, right, deep harm and they're going to move very, very, very slow. Okay. Divine Masculine. Okay. The Empress here. Again, death. Okay. Could be mother of your children. Again, four of cups. I'm not taking any offers. Three of candles. I'm moving forward on my own life, my own decision. But this Knight of Wands, okay, Eight of Wands, right? Again, you want to take some sort of action. You want to communicate something. But then you start thinking about the emotions. You're like, no, I'm not communicating anything. Okay, why no emotional communication here? Knight of Swords, because I'm still too bound up, too tied into where I've been. High Priestess in reverse. You feel like this person should know. Okay, again, Six of Wands. You're like, horse and rider, you should know. But I feel like this person is uncertain. Okay, Page of Wands. Six of Cups, Eight of Cups, right? I will come back around when I've walked away from something, but I can't walk away from something yet. And so I'm not coming back around. Okay. Okay, the seven of cups that the queen of cups is uh, regretful about. Four of swords in reverse. Okay. This person may have been like supposed to be having some downtime or some healing or something and they weren't really and maybe they got found out that they weren't where they were supposed to be okay four of wands in reverse you could have called something off or walked away okay yeah eight of swords you cut it off queen of wands okay um and the nine of roses and they could have said no you're not cutting this off we are gonna work on this okay and that's kind of where you're stuck at perhaps right now divine masculine okay but you are heading towards a new start here page of pentacles okay yeah something that makes you feel strong page of roses Okay, again, just clarify. This is that new beginning. Makes you feel strong. 
Knight of Cups, okay, Four of Roses, but you're resisting it for right now. It really comes down to patience, right? So, how is the Divine Feminine Energy feeling right now? Confident this is happening, self-assured. Um, even if there are two feminines here, they're inside both of them, they're like, oh yeah, this is mine. Yeah, this is mine. It's mine. I'm sure of it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Communication brings an open heart, great happiness, right? Lots of love. But there's also somebody here feeling guilty and judged, okay, for this darkness within the connection. Okay, Divine Masculine. Right? Um, you really want to play. You really want to have fun. You really want to engage in some joy here. Like, you feel like you've had enough. Okay? You're curious. You could be watching things online, crying, um, checking to see what people are up to. Okay? But you're thankful for someone here. You have gratitude for someone here that you have a lot of love for, okay? Somewhere in all of this is a lot of love, but there's a lot of underlying hurt that you have to put some thought in before you can move into that loving sort of connection, okay? So let's close it off with an oracle, and then I'm going to move into Patreon, okay? I, again, I've been thinking about opening up a YouTube membership. For those that do not want Patreon, let me know down below if you are interested in that. Yeah, okay, there's a lot of abundance, cornucopia coming through here, okay? Um, Jupiter energy. But the challenge is, is that you have to get through this ending, this healing, this Chiron wound. For some of you, you may have a Chiron, okay, wound in love or abundance, right, that you are trying to heal. Very thorny, okay, but um, once you get through that, like everything else will open up. Jupiter will expand all of that abundance for you, okay, a harvest. So I hope this helps you. I hope you guys have a great week if this is where I leave you. If not, I'll see you in a minute over on Patreon. All right? Much love, guys. Bye.